What is up fam? How y'all doing today? So we are back at the Elder Balo Cemetery and I wanted to do a full investigation here. Last time I came here with my brother, just pretty much messing around and going and looking at some cool cemeteries. This one has a huge, huge history behind it. It's a little windy right now, so if you guys can't hear me, I apologize. I'll try to increase the audio during editing. So let's get into this video right now. All right, guys, so walking in right now. Oh. It's actually a pretty decent cemetery. The last time I was here, we did a small little spare box session. And uh, yeah. All right guys, so I'm hoping the wind cooperates a little bit better, but if not, I'll make do it what I can get. But this is a huge, huge cemetery. And there are reports of a man in gray or like a gray apparition that walks around here at night. Obviously we're not gonna be able to do that right now because it's not nighttime I think it's like one two o'clock right now but yeah definitely something I wanted to come check out if you guys want me to come back here at night and uh, spend an alone session inside one of the tombs which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit comment on this video and let me know what you think but yeah, it's a lot of stuff around here Well, that's cool. My camera will focus. There we go. Show you guys around a little bit. Basically, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do something I couldn't do last time I came here, and that's do a spirit box session fully inside one of the tombs. So hopefully the wind shouldn't be that much of an issue when I'm in there. And uh, we're gonna do the spirit box, we're gonna set up the REM pod and the EMF as well and see if we get anything. This isn't a bad cemetery. I'm gonna show you guys a little scenery real quick. Alright guys, so when we came here last time, there was, there was a plot that we were kind of focused on, I just forgot where it was, I think it's over here. I almost failed. <laughs> this one looks kind of fresh. Someone cleaned it. I don't know. These look like someone broke them and then tried to fix them. Can you guys see the date? 1833 or 83? I think this is 18, I think this is 1883. Yeah, 1883, because this one says. Yeah, all right, so 1883. <laughs> Look, one of the ballos. 
Joseph W. and Sarah Ballo Grant. May 1868. Eight years old. Wow. Jesus. And Harvey Ballo and Ruth Ballo. Husband and wife. So basically the story on this place is that like I said there is a apparition or a gray shadow figure of a man whether it could be a groundskeeper it could have been someone or it could just be a resident of here that is walking around the cemetery and possibly could be in one of these. Now, I believe this is the one I went into last time. Because obviously you can't get into these. Yeah. So, we're gonna go into this one. Actually, I think I might do this one. Yeah, because I can sit on the rock back there. All right, so yeah. We're gonna go into that one and we're gonna do a spare box session. So let's go. So we are inside now. So you see, you know, that's the outside. And uh, like I said, we're going to bust out the spirit box real quick. I'm going to use the actual spirit box and see what we get on that one first. And then if I don't pick anything up, I will try the necrophonic. So let's go. I'm going to set this up on the tripod and do it that way. All right. Are there any spirits in this tomb with me that would like to communicate? So I want to put the REM pod. I want to put the REM pod at the door in case anybody wants to walk in. See, so you guys can see that. I'm part of right at the door. And I'm gonna set the tripod back up right here. Point it down. You guys can see what's going on. Is there any spirits here with me? Would you like to communicate? I'm just show you guys around here real quick. Here. Is there a presence here with me? Are you making the temperature gauge go down? Can you make it go down to two, please?
my camera battery just went down too. My camera battery is fully charged. Now it's at like half battery right now. Is there any spirits in here that would like to communicate? Is there a demon present in here? Yes. Look. And it's going down to two like I asked. Oh. Can you make the temperature gauge go down to three? Negative three. Well, can you touch that device that's next to the spirit box? Make it light up. Just show you guys it is on, which is very dim. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one. Ooh. Look, 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 look. Come on, make it go down to negative three. Show me that you're here. Making sure that's not a cop. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright, I'm gonna shut the REM pod off. For some reason, this doesn't really like to work a lot. Um, but... It, what the hell was that? Hello? So it is down to negative three. Can you make it go down to negative four or lower? Make it really cold in here. I like it cold. Can you make it really cold in here? See my breath a little bit. Leave. You're making my battery drain. Is that you? Whoa. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Cause it's going down to four now. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, communicating with me through the spare box and making the temperature gauge go down. I appreciate it. Can you make it go down to negative five? Show me that you're here. Touch me, push me, do something. I heard you like to touch people. My friend Alex came in here a while ago and I was told that you scratched him. Can you do the same to me? I'm all alone, there's nobody here with me. Can't. Hi. Whoa! Negative five. As soon as I said something. This is crazy. So this is one of the most creepiest and haunted cemeteries in Rhode Island. Other than uh, Mercy Brown, which I definitely am going to go back there, probably with a couple more people. 
but this is insane. I asked several times, lower the temperature every time, and it did it, exactly on cue. So there's definitely a presence in here with me, and it's still going. The cheeks are all red, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> It definitely feel like the temperature dropped while I was in here, and it's in this one area, like right in here. You didn't give me this last time, so thank you very much. Do you want me to come back here at night alone? How about I come back here and do a Ouija board? Will that upset you? Just fucking went down again. Look, it's going even lower now. This is insane, guys. I've never had activity like this where it's responding on cue. Actually, that's a lie. When I was at the um, Blood Cemetery in New Hampshire, the EMFs were going crazy on response, too, so. And it feels like there's a child presence in here, because it seems like I keep hearing a kid come through the spirit box. I don't know, it also could be anything. If it was a demon, sometimes they do um, try to mimic children or just something that makes you more calmer just to mess with you. What the fuck? Look. Since this temperature gauge only go, it just went back up. Oh, because I hit the button, my bad. All right, so I just reset the temperature. I'm gonna give you one more chance to prove that you're here. Make the temperature gauge go from zero to negative two. If you can do that, I will leave. Four. Is the spirit that haunts this cemetery in here with me? I guess you don't want to talk anymore. That's okay. All right, I'm going to leave this area. Please tell me that just didn't say Dave. Do you know my name? Do you know my name? Now just so you know, I just shut my light off. Nothing did that, I did that myself. <laughs> but, all right, so I'm gonna shut this off. Shut that off, put that back in my bag. And uh, yeah, just give me one sec, guys. All right, so I just got out. And that's really cool. I definitely gotta come back here and do a session in there at night where it's more darker and it's just a lot more creepier. But yeah. So this is still on a on a road that a lot of people use, so if you do hear cars go by, don't worry about it, not a big deal. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna record with my camera and show you on my phone the SLS feature and see if we can pick anything up or use the Ovulus from the GhostTube app. Now if you guys wanna use that, I'll put a link as always in the description below. Also, 
Just show you guys, I am wearing another Raise Energy shirt. I love this stuff. I actually got a drink in my car right now. It is called Galaxy Burst. It is very, very good. If you guys want to go try out Rays for yourself, you can go to repsports.com or you can go to any GNC store in the malls or any health food stores and they will be there. You guys can buy them. They are fairly cheap to get them. I think it's like two for four dollars for two cans. So yeah, definitely go check out Rays Energy Drinks and Rep Sports. They have some awesome stuff, awesome merch, awesome pre-workout if you're trying to, you know, lose some weight, work out, and uh, enjoy yourself. So let's get on to this video and I'm gonna spend about, I don't know, maybe another like 20 minutes here um, and uh, see what we pick up. That is definitely cool though. I definitely like what is in there and all the responses that I was getting, it was on cue every time I asked, can you lower the temperature? Can you lower the temperature? Because that, what the, is that my lens? Yeah, that was my lens. Okay, I thought I saw like a figure or something or something. <laughs> anyway, let's go into the ghost tube app right now. All right, guys, so we're using the ghost tube app, and we're just going to pretty much show if we get any responses on the Ovulus feature that they have. Is there any spirits with me? Was there a spirit talking to me inside the tomb? I'm gonna go near the tomb one more time. Was there a spirit talking to me? EMF just went up. Can you tell me your name? I have the camera pointed right at you. So if you want to make yourself known I'd be able to see you. All right, we're gonna switch over to the SLS real quick. All right, guys, so we have the SLS feature for the Ghost Tube app. Hold on, we'll clear that. All right. So yeah, if you guys wanna check it out, it is Ghost Tube SLS. The app is free. Can you show yourself on my camera, please? Can you do that one more time so my fans can see you? There was definitely something in here on me when I was using the spirit box. Can you confirm that for me? I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Let's see if we pick anything up. Is there anybody in here? Okay, thank you. Again guys, I apologize for the wind. I didn't think it was gonna be that windy today. Can anybody show themselves on my SLS camera? Alright, I'm going to the last one. Now's your time to show yourself. Alright. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to record a little bit on my phone using this camera so if you guys want that footage i'll put that into this video as well so that way you guys can just see this and not like through the camera and another screen so i will be right back so i'm back to showing you the regular ghost tube app it only let me record a little bit because i've used it so many times so, spend a little bit more time here and head out. But, yeah. So, basically, 
this is pretty much it. I mean, there is a lot more to it that I'm going to show you real quick before heading out. But if you guys want me to come back here at night and spend some time in there alone, I will do it. Um, I want to come back here at night anyway because, um, yeah, the stories I've heard. I watched a few other videos on this place and not every time they got something, but definitely they did get some cool evidence as far as communication, just like I did. So yeah, I'm gonna show you over here real quick and then we're gonna head back over there and wrap it up. Now, I did say I was gonna use the Necrophonic, but I'm gonna refrain from using that. Because I know a lot of people say, oh, well, it's an app, it doesn't really work, and you know, just stick to the normal stuff. So that's what I've been trying to do. But, yeah. No. I already showed you this, but you know, I like coming to cemeteries and looking at some, looking at stuff, and it's peaceful, you know. And you never know, you might find something creepy, like a freaking box with a random thing in it, and still not telling you what it is. You guys are gonna have to keep liking that video immensely, and then I will release the footage and upload the video. Until then. Head over, watch that video, make sure you like it, and let me know what you think. Because uh, I'm going to say this. What I found inside that box, it's disturbing. Very fucking disturbing. So anyway, on to a better note, we are probably going to wrap it up here and uh, call it a day. So, as always... Thank you guys so much for watching this video and tuning in every time I post a video. I love you guys so much. Make sure to continue to head over to my Instagram and show the support. I try to post daily there almost all the time. Head over to my TikTok if you want to see something funny. I post there too every once in a while, depending on the day. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. I love you guys so much. Remember, we are strong together, and I will see you next time.